Hey dog lovers, today we're gonna to talk about containment systems. We're gonna talk about how to let your dog uh, stay safe, but have the freedom of a leashless experience. Um, and I wanna talk about two really popular options. They're kind of at the opposite ends of the spectrum when it comes to cost, but they're both wireless, which I, I think makes them a good comparison. Uh, we wanna talk about the pet safe wireless fence option and the spot on GPS collar option. So uh, let's talk all things containment system and jump right into the video. Okay, so when it comes to cost, like I mentioned, uh, that's the first thing we wanna talk about because really when it comes down to it, cost is probably going to be the deciding factor if you're looking at these two options. Um, the GPS, the spot on GPS collar is in my opinion, the best collar on the market when it comes to precision, like being able to lay out exactly where, you're, where you want your dog to go. Uh, a more cost affordable, more, more cost friendly option is the PetSafe uh, containment system. It's a wireless sy system. So neither one of these systems require you to do any digging or burying of lines. Uh, they both come with everything you need. Uh, the the pet safe option is about I, the last time I was in Home Depot they had this there and it was like two ninety nine uh, I'll put a link to this on Amazon I think Amazon's price is a little bit better uh, you'll notice I've got two units here one unit uh, is the original uh, transponder I don't know exactly what they call it but it's the it's the original unit that comes with it it's a boundary control and it's about ninety feet in diameter. Uh, this is an extra cost for an extra $180. You can get a, a, basically a repeater, which will give you another 90. And so you can, you can take a circle and turn it, in, turn it into kind of an oval or a football shape type uh, or track shaped uh, wireless system for your dog. Um, the spot on collar is $1,000. You can get this for $999. Uh, if you click a link down below for the spot on, that'll take you to the best price that is out there right now for the spot on collar. So there's no question when it comes to cost, the pet, safe, uh, the pet safe wireless system is going to be significantly cheaper. Um, but if you stop there, there's a few things that you're gonna miss out on that I actually think you really need to consider when it comes to the spot on GPS collar. Don't, don't let cost, I, if, that's, if this is the only option, if $300 is all you have, the pet safe option is, is great. Um, I'll do another video where I'll walk you through kind of training dogs to the pet safe unit. Uh, but keep listening and let's talk about some of the other details and differences between these two collars. Um, when it comes to training, how quickly your dog adapts to the system, I think that is a major, uh, that's a major selling point of the spot on collar. The spot on collar gives real time uh, feedback to your dog every time the dog approaches the, the fence or the border. Um, I did this with my dog. You can click out, check out this video right here. Um, I'll put it, I think this is the corner. YouTube changes from time to time. But, but click on this video right here and it'll walk you through the process that I went through with my Labrador. But we were about 10 to 12 days and he was, he was money as far as knowing where the boundary was. Uh, within about five to six weeks, uh, and, and ever since then, we really don't even have to put the collar on Odin. He stays within that boundary. He's just been conditioned to say, this is the place, this is the spaces where I can go. And so when it comes to the trainability uh, with the pet safe, it comes with a bunch of little flags, little landscape flags, and you're supposed to put those in the, in the uh, boundary uh, or at the, at the border's edge. And the idea is, is that as your dog approaches the flag, he's going to hear the beep and then get the correction. And he's going to learn that there's going to be a visual representation of where that boundary is. Now, the thing I liked about the spot on, it, it took me about uh, just over three and a half weeks to get my dog ready to use with this. I believe the extra auditory warning level from or, or, or signal from the spot on collar, I think that made a huge difference when it came to the train the training times required and it shaved over it shaved an entire week off of this collar versus this collar now the biggest reason that you're going to want the spot on collar the biggest advantage to the spot on collar and the thing that i've loved about it is the fact that i can 
manipulate the boundary however I want. And I can go back and adjust it and tweak it. Uh, and so in our property, we've got this big, long property that's about, I don't know, it's almost a thousand feet deep from where our house sits, but only about 300 feet wide or 400 feet wide, I guess. I'm somewhere in that ballpark. Um, with these, I can't do anything with the boundary shape. It's always a circle or like I say, that oval if you add the, the add-on. Um, and that sometimes is a problem because, I, you know, the, if, unless, if you have a perfectly square yard, then that might work for you or a yard that's only 90 feet wide. On the flip side of that, if, if on my property, I can give my dog the run of the whole property by just adjusting the boundary and giving it exactly what I want uh, as shape-wise. The other benefit between it comes to the spot-on collar versus the wireless. Uh, we had problems in the last home we lived in, we had problems because the home was made out of brick. And so in order for this to be inside, well, if we had this in these units inside, it couldn't, it didn't get outside of the brick. The brick and the mason work stopped it. Well, the signal may get disrupted and you may find gaps in the, in the boundary and it doesn't take a dog long to figure out where those gaps are. So the thing that I love about this is there's no gaps. I've not ever had, I have never had in using this collar now for several months, I've never had this collar fail me. Um, I've never had my dog get out. It's, he's always stayed within on my property and that's with livestock everywhere. The biggest difference between these two things is that this unit is responsible for the signal that your dog's going to get with the collar. And if this unit fails in any way, uh, say the, your power goes out or, um, or there's a disruption because of, like I say, a building or, or anything else that gets in the way of the signal, there's nothing holding your dog back. On the flip side of that, the spot on collar, if this thing has power, it's not relying on anything else but the GPS signals. Th those are some of the biggest reasons that I personally prefer the spot on collar. Now again, if, if the only thing you have and your house setup is, is right as far as the width and depth, uh, the wireless system isn't a bad system. Just be aware of the fragile nature of this system. Be aware of the possible gaps and, and walk around on a regular basis, once or twice a week, walk around with your dog's collar and just listen for the little auditory signal that tells you that, it's, that the signal's there. Uh, if you do that and you're willing to do that on a regular basis, then these systems aren't bad systems. I would just say that for my personal, and what, for my personal situation and what we have going on here with Odin, I would say that this is easily worth the extra five or $600 uh, to make sure that I'm not getting any gaps, to make sure that I'm getting real-time feedback. Uh, I didn't, and that, we didn't even get to the point, and maybe we should mention this really quick. The other benefits to this collar is the fact that when I'm away, I can leave my dog out, I can run to the store, and with the cellular package that you can get from Spot On, I get a notification if my dog leaves the boundary. Um, I get a notification if he approaches the boundary. I can check, I can, get, I can get on my phone and identify where my dog's at. In fact, we were, um, I, I got a phone call from my wife saying, I don't see Odin, where's he at? I was about seven or eight miles away visiting my dad. I'm talking to my dad at his house. I get the phone call. My wife says, I don't see Odin out there. Where is he at? I think he's run off. I was able to get on my phone, open up the app, and I was able to, in real time, tell her, oh, it looks like he's over by the RV. So she went out, walked over, and sure enough, that's exactly where he was at. So that is, those are features that I, I almost hesitate to even bring up because it's, these, these don't offer anything in the ballpark. Uh, it's just some of the added benefit of and comfort that you get from a spot-on collar. So if it's up to me, I go spot on every single day. Thanks for watching. I hope this has been helpful. If it, if it has been helpful, or if you have other questions about the spot on collar or my experience with the pet safe, please leave a message down at the bottom and I'll, I'll respond to those as quick as I can. Uh, and again, look at the links down below for both the best buys I can find online for the pet safe wireless system, as well as the spot on GPS collar. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.